As you've learned previously in this class, while in the surface mode, you can access the Geo 2.0 pre-dive planning sequence. This is a tool that allows you to plan the maximum bottom time for your dive based on the expected depth. Oceanic strongly recommends that you review the pre-dive planning sequence prior to every dive. This is especially important for repetitive dives, when the pre-dive planning sequence indicates adjusted dive times based on residual nitrogen or oxygen accumulation. The pre-dive planning sequence provides a sequence of theoretical dive times available for depths ranging from 30 to 190 feet. To access the pre-dive planning sequence from the surface mode, press the advance button until you see the plan lead-in display. Let's look at the plan lead-in display when diving air. This display contains the following information. PZ plus icon if selected, the graphic plan, gas one icon, and the graphic air. Press the select button to enter the pre-dive planning sequence. Then press the advance button to increase the plan depth or press the mode button to decrease the plan depth. When diving air, the pre-dive planning sequence display contains the following information. Dive plan value with icon, dive time allowed with NDC or O2, and min icon, graphic air with FO2 icon, and gas one icon. Note that the pre-dive planning sequence applies only to gas one and takes into consideration the algorithm being used and the conservative factor. Also note that the dive planning mode takes into consideration information from previous dives such as residual nitrogen, dive profiles in a series of repetitive dives, and oxygen toxicity when diving nitrox. To return to the main surface mode when you're in the planning mode, just hold the mode button. Press next at the bottom of the screen.